Greg, these meetings were simply a way for the public to understand how this proposed delisting process works. And it is really complex to get the gray wolf off the endangered species list in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Even though this was just a place for people to get their questions answered, many of them still found a way to make their opinions about wolves known. Slowly but surely, the wolf population is on the rise in the region. The number of complaints, investigations, and recovered kills continue to increase as the population increases. 687 wolves were recorded in the Upper Peninsula last year. And for the first time in a century, wolves were also discovered in the Lower Peninsula. At tonight's meeting, residents expressed their concerns and opinions about the effect delisting would have on the gray wolf. I agree wolves don't meet the criteria for endangered status, um, but I see some real threats um, out there. I believe that um, the people up here, we, uh, we live with these killing machines. And I believe that um, our opinions, written opinions, uh, should hold more merit than some people downstate that um, animal lover types. But the main purpose of tonight's meeting was information for the public. Information straight from the departments spearheading the delisting efforts, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the DNR. The control of wolves continues to be the most effective management tool, but is unavailable to us at this time. And we continue to kill any wolves that exhibit a threat to human safety. Until the gray wolf is placed back under state jurisdiction and federal protection is removed, authorities are unable to directly kill a wolf preying on livestock or pets. But as far as cattle, After the wolf is delisted, both departments will implement a wolf management plan for five years to ensure that the species remains protected, although not listed specifically as endangered. Wolves have met the recovery criteria and are not in danger of extinction. We have good laws and a plan in place to manage wolves in Michigan. But until the federal protection and anti-hunting litigation is resolved, wolves will be managed using the wrong tools, and many Michigan citizens will continue to be frustrated. And, Greg, the issue of hunting wolves is a whole other animal, one that would need to be decided by the legislature. Now, the public comment period for this delisting proposal goes until July 5th. That information is on our website, UpperMichiganSource.com, under the news story. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is then required to address and consider all of those comments before a final decision is made, hopefully before the end of the calendar year.